I'm going to show you how I do my cleaning up after I make cold process soap. Now you don't have to do it this way, there's lots of different ways to do it. But first I take, just get my um, stick blender out of the way, put it away, and then I'm left with all my dirty stuff. So you could take paper towels and like wipe out all the insides. Let me turn off this music. Um, where was, okay, so wipe off, um, what at first what I did was I scooped out as much as I could with my spatulas to make sure that they're already fairly clean and you're not getting excess soap, your waste not whatnot. So, and then you can take paper towels, wipe them out, throw away the paper towels, or if you're into more like sustainability, you can take a kitchen towel, what I have here, and just wipe them out as best you can until they're fairly clean and free of obvious clumps of soap. Now this is just moments after making a batch. Some people prefer to wait a couple days and let it turn into soap and then wash it, but uh, I make soap in my kitchen, so when I'm done with soap I need to clean it up so I can then do food or whatever. So I don't like to have dirty dishes sitting in the sink. Well, my husband would tell you differently, but I don't like to have soap dishes sitting in the sink. So just wiping them out. And then when I'm done wiping them out, use as many towels as you need, especially if you're just going to be washing them. And I will wait a few days before I wash it. And like this has lavender essential oil in it, so it's going to make all my dirty clothes stinky in the hamper. I mean, it's going to make all my stinky clothes smell nice in the hamper. They will all smell like lavender when they go in the wash, but the smell doesn't survive the, the washing cycle. <clears throat> so once I'm done wiping all these out, I'm just going to put a little bit of dish soap in the bigger container that I wash things in. So I wash it right in the soap container. And then once that's done, when I'm done washing the dishes, because I don't like to have it like the remnants of this going down our drain because we have a septic, uh, I actually go and dump it outside. We live in the country, so I just dump it in our driveway. It doesn't hurt anything out there. There's no wild, not, I'm not dumping it on grass. I'm not I'm dumping it on gravel. So it's not really a big deal. As far as I know, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But I just don't want that going down our drain. So that's what I do. And I'll finish doing wiping out my dishes and we'll come back later. This will probably be the most boring video in all the world, but I wiped, I wiped down all my soap stuff with a dish towel and then I used my soap bucket. I put a little bit of soap in there, filled it with water a third of the way. And now I'll just wash all my soap dishes. And if you had done hot process or like made soap in the crock pot, I would just take the the crock pot and run the water in it. You wouldn't even have to add soap. It would make its own nice bubbles and you could just wash your crock pot in the soap bubbles. So I'm gonna turn this video off. You don't need to see me washing dishes. I don't want any proof of me doing that. So that's how you clean your soap stuff. Fairly basic.